Hi, my name is Anika Majaria and you're watching Dubai Life TV. I am at the American Hospital with Dr. Jin Young Lee, who is a neurosurgeon. Hi, Dr. Lee, thank you for being here. Hi, good afternoon. What kinds of referrals do you typically receive in your field? As uh, a general neurosurgeon, I, I'm involved uh, uh, in uh, uh, all kinds of uh, um, cranial and uh, um, spinal surgeries and uh, so when we are talking about uh, brain disease so uh, most important or most frequent symptom is headache, epileptic seizures or uh, neurological uh, deficits in terms of uh, speech disturbance or weakness of arm, weakness of leg. A spinal disease so the most frequent symptom is a back pain, uh, neck pain with pain radiation to, uh, to the right arm, uh, to, to the arms or um, uh, low back pain with pain radiation to, to the legs associated with difficulties in walking. What tools do you use for diagnosis? In my opinion, so CT scan, CT study and MRI study have become the most important diagnostic tool for neurosurgery. So uh, basically neurosurgery cannot uh, function without uh, uh, diagnostic images. So CT scan is widely available also in small um, uh, hospitals and the CT scan is good for um, emergency cases, for example, to, to detect um, intra, uh, cerebral hemorrhage or intracranial hemorrhage or also to detect uh, spinal fractures. Whereas MRI is most important, the MRI has a better, um, uh, uh, better resolution and also offers better visualization. Uh, we get 3D uh, images and uh, MRI does show much better uh, the relationship of the brain le lesion to other surrounding anatomical structures. Also, MRI is a f uh, yeah, very important, uh, for example, for planning a brain, brain surgery. Are there any differences with regards to the patients that you uh, deal with here compared to the other cities that you have worked in? The most patients are very uh, hesitant, reluctant uh, regarding surgery and uh, they hate surgery, and uh, 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 this is uh, um, uh, one of the uh, differences. And um, um, uh, as I mentioned uh, at the beginning, so I lived in Germany, and in Germany, everybody is, is, is covered by insurance, and uh, we don't ask um, insurance, for example, to, uh, to get MRI study done or to get surgery done. Here uh, in Dubai is... Uh, uh, is very difficult. <laughs> what are the biggest challenges you face in your speciality in this day and age? Uh, I have faced uh, of, um, uh, many uh, uh, challenges and this is I think the nature of the neurosurgery and uh, I have to say so there's no simple surgery uh, in neurosurgery and uh, every surgery is, uh, is challenging. But um, compared to, uh, so within uh, brain, uh, within neurosurgery, I would say uh, brain surgeries are most challenging cases. How has research played a part in patient improvement in your field? Most important is, in my opinion, um, the technical uh, advancement in the last, uh, in the last 100 years. Uh, now the technique has advanced, uh, also uh, operative uh, approach has been refined, operative technique has uh, for the advance. So now the mortality rate after brain tumor surgery is uh, less than 1%. Great, thank you so much, Dr. Lee. That was very informative. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you.